Every parent at some point in time will face the inevitable question. Do I have a cell phone? Today, lots of kids want cell phones, mainly because their friends have one. And many working parents often make the decision to get their kids a mobile device because it makes it easier to keep tabs on their increasingly mobile kids. The problem is that most of today's cell phones offer way more than just the ability to make a phone call. And the thing your kid will probably do the least is talk on it. When you hand your kid a cell phone, you're handing them a powerful communication tool that connects them to the world. And as many parents at Common Sense Media discovered, the question isn't simply when to get a cell phone, but also what kind of features make sense for what age. The quick answer is, while all families have different circumstances, your best bet is to match your kid's maturity with the technological power they are given. Do you remember your cell phone? Yeah, it's right here. All right. I got Amaya a cell phone when she was four years old. I do um, work 50 miles away from home, so I find that giving her a cell phone is really convenient. So if I have some kind of problem getting back home in time, or if she has some issue after school, I'm always just one phone call away. Our primary rule around cell phone use is that it's meant to be used to communicate with me and her dad. The secondary rule is if she does want to call friends, she sort of has to ask me if it's okay to add their phone number um, to her phone. Setting firm ground rules about responsible cell phone use is a must for kids of all ages. That means explaining when phones should be used and which features are okay for them to use. Also, find out what your kid's school's cell phone policy is and make sure your kid follows it. Protecting young kids' privacy is an important concern if your child is elementary school age, it's a good idea to limit who can call them. You can use the parental control options provided by your carrier to block numbers. Also, make sure to program everyone's numbers into your child's phone so that they display the names of who is calling. Tell your kids not to answer calls from numbers they don't know. And if your kids have texting or voicemail, monitoring their messages is probably not a bad idea. Mom, I'm home. I got my son a cell phone this year because he entered sixth grade and he was taking the bus to and from school and I really felt like it would be a great way for him to just keep in touch with me, let me know that he made it to school, that he made it home. When I first started talking to my son about getting a cell phone, he was really interested in texting. I just really felt that the whole texting thing would um, introduce him to a social world that he's not really quite ready for and frankly I'm not quite ready for that either. As kids get older, responsible phone usage becomes a greater concern, particularly when it comes to texting. Parents of middle school kids should check in with them to make sure that they are not sending or receiving mean texts or embarrassing photos. And using a phone to cheat and text answers during tests? That's an absolute deal breaker. If you get your kids a smartphone, make sure to set clear rules around internet usage and product purchases. Since not everything they have access to is age appropriate, let kids know you need to check the ratings for music, games, and app purchases before they buy them. I think we might be going out and doing family stuff today. With high school kids, the big issue is that the phone becomes the absolute private space. So it's really hard for parents to know what kind of communication is going on. In this 24-7 digital world, where anything can be copied, sent, and posted, a private photo or text can quickly become viral. Teens too often press the send button and share photos, videos, and messages with each other without even thinking about where their personal information will end up. Sophie's had a cell phone since she was in sixth grade, and now she's 16 and she's in high school. And so we have definitely had the conversations about cyberbullying and about sexting, and she knows those are deal breakers. At the very minimum, parents should remind teens that there should be no forwarding of cruel or sexy texts or uploads of revealing photos or inappropriate videos. And for drivers, make it clear that there should be absolutely no texting or talking on the phone while at the wheel. There's no doubt that cell phones have become a way of life, but because these mobile devices can connect our kids to a global audience and we're not always there to monitor what they're saying or sending, it's important that we teach kids what is appropriate and responsible use. 
following these simple tips will go a long way in protecting your kids' privacy and fostering parental peace of mind. For more tips and advice, visit us at commonsense.org. I'm Lori Burke.